Hi everybody, Paul here. Today I want to show you how to easily replace your engine coolant and flush the system. This is not the only way to do it, it's just the way that I've done it for years. It's really important to replace your engine coolant regularly because as it ages it turns acidic and will literally start eating the engine. The lifespan of engine coolant is usually two to five years depending on the manufacturer. All you need to perform this is new engine coolant that's already pre-mixed or that you mixed yourself with distilled water. Be sure to first check how much engine coolant your system holds so you have enough on hand to put back in. You'll also need an open container to collect the old engine coolant, containers with screw top caps to take the old engine coolant to a disposal center, a funnel, and a garden hose that can supply fresh water to the radiator. Do not perform this unless your radiator is cool to the touch or you could be seriously burned from hot engine coolant. Also make sure you don't leave any engine coolant out where a dog or cat could drink it which could kill them. To remove a radiator cap, push down on the cap, turn it counterclockwise until it stops, and remove it. To reinstall the radiator cap, line up the ears on the radiator cap with the grooves on the filler neck. Push down and turn clockwise until it stops. The first thing to do is locate the drain valve on the bottom of the radiator. Mine happens to be right here. Once you locate the drain valve, place the open container directly underneath it so you can collect the old engine coolant. If you have an engine coolant reservoir tank similar to this one, then leave this cap on and also leave the radiator cap on. This will create a vacuum and drain the reservoir tank when you open the bottom drain valve. Once the reservoir tank is empty, you can remove the radiator cap, which will allow the rest to drain out a lot faster. If you do not have an engine coolant reservoir tank similar to this one, then first remove the radiator cap, which will allow it to drain out a lot faster. Now drain as much engine coolant as possible by opening and closing the drain valve as needed to fill the open container. And pour it into the containers for disposal. Once you've drained out as much engine coolant as possible, leave the drain valve open just a little and fill the top of the radiator with the garden hose. Once water starts coming out of the top of the radiator, start the engine and adjust the water flow from the garden hose so that the water is barely coming out of the top of the radiator. Be extremely careful working around a running engine because your drive belts are constantly moving on different pulleys. There are also cooling fan blades which turn extremely fast. Some run continually and some are thermostat control which means they can turn on and off at any time which makes them especially dangerous. Continue to let the engine run until nothing but clear water comes out of the drain valve to flush the remaining engine coolant out of the system. I usually do this for at least 20 minutes. I also like to use a clear glass to check the drain water for clarity and sediment to know for sure that it's been fully flushed. Not there yet. Now it looks good. Next turn the engine off and then turn the garden hose off. Wait until the water stops draining out and then close the drain valve. It only needs to be hand tight. With the engine turned off, add as much new engine coolant as the radiator will hold. And top off the reservoir tank to the full mark. Next start the engine and continue to add engine coolant until the radiator won't take anymore. Turn the engine off and install the radiator and reservoir caps back on and you're done. Also be sure to recheck the engine coolant level after you drive the vehicle. 
I hope you found this helpful, and if you like this video, please hit the like button below, share it with your friends, and please be sure to subscribe. God bless you, and have a great day. Bye for now.